Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Since We're Alone by Neil Horan. We have a capo on our first fret, we're in standard tuning. I'll be teaching you the lick that I played at the beginning of the video, as well as the chord progression that can be played throughout the entire song, and the strumming pattern that goes along with it. So I'm going to start out with a strumming pattern here. I'm going to start on a C chord, index fingers on the first fret of the B, middle fingers on the second fret of the D, ring finger is on the third fret of the A string. like this. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Next we're going to go to a G chord. Ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the high E, middle finger on the third fret of the low E, index finger on the second fret of the A. Same strumming pattern, so down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up. Next, we're going to go to an A minor chord. So if you go back to your C chord first, that you learned at the, as the first chord, you're just going to move your ring finger to the second fret of the G string, and there you have your A minor. Same strumming pattern. And from there we're going to go to an F chord, so you're going to take your ring finger off, stay on the A minor, put your middle finger down to the second fret of the G, ring finger up to the third fret of the A, ring finger, pinky right under on the third fret of the D. are your four chords. So we have a C, G, A minor, and an F. And our strumming pattern can stay the same. So it's just down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. That's it. I'm going to go through this nice and slow here so you can get the strumming. Alright, so I hope that wasn't too quick. I did go through that quickly though. I'm going to go ahead and teach you this part, which is just one of the many licks in the song, but this is the one that's played throughout the verse. Um, and this is the only one I'll be teaching you. Your ring finger is going to be on the 4th fret relative to the capo of the G string. We're going to play it twice, and on the second time you're going to slide to the 5th fret. Next you're going to drop one string down to your 5th fret of the B string. Play that twice. Slide down to your third fret. And then you can either use your pinky or your ring finger, but we're going to go all the way up to the sixth fret here of the B string relative to the capo. Play that twice and then slide down to your um, fifth fret here. So putting all that together here, we're starting out on the third fret of the G string. Play it twice, slide to the sixth or the 5th actually, 4th to the 5th there. Drop down to the B string, 5th fret. Slide to the 3rd, play that note. Go up to the 6th fret. Play that twice, slide down to the 5th. Play it again. And then we're going to go to this next part here, we're going to start with your index finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. Go to the 4th fret 
of the G string with your ring finger, pinky to the fifth fret of the G string, open, and then your middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the D. So that last part sounds like this. And then it's back to the beginning. That's it. So I taught you one of the riffs in the song, and I taught you the chord progression that can be played throughout the entire song. I went through it all pretty quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, or if you'd like to see me do a tutorial on a song that there's no tutorial out there for, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, send me a message, and I'll try and get one out there for you. Thank you for watching.